All right, guys, back again at the racetrack. Charlie Murphy, if you guys don't know, we are giving this thing away. So all you have to do to get entered to win this is go to lsnasty.com and pick up some merch. We got socks. We got shirts. We got socks. We got face masks. We got socks. We got hoodies. We got socks. We got t-shirts, hats. We got it all. So go to lsnasty.com and check out what we got going on. I got some new shirts coming out next week, so be on the lookout. All right, y'all, very important announcement. This shirt and this hoodie are about to go away. So you guys will be seeing this video Saturday. Saturday and Sunday are the last two days to purchase these items before they are gone forever. Uh, I was planning on keeping around longer, but you guys want another shirt and I'm gonna bring you guys what you need. So double entry on the hoodie, double entry on this shirt, each item, so you buy one hoodie, you get two entries into winning Charlie Murphy, same with the shirt. So get them before they're gone, double entry on these badass American flag Ellis Nash t-shirts and hoodies. So last chance, get them before they're gone. You got today and tomorrow. Enjoy today's video. All you guys gotta do to enter is go down below. Every item is an entry to win, except for stickers. Stickers don't count. Everyone's all butt hurt, but stickers don't count. But just get stickers anyways and slap them on your car because they're cool to see driving around. What we got going on here today is we got the Silverback Z06, which we're going to be testing with today. Uh, first time out on the new setup, that's got the Black Sheep uh, 427 in there, built by TKM Performance. So that is like a crate engine package that we put in there with some force induction turbos, and it's badass. You guys have heard it. It's rowdy. It's got awesome T&D rocker arms on there. It's, it's the, heads are, the head port is different. Uh, the Black Sheep has LS7 port. That has Cathedral port. Uh, but we got some badass T&D rockers on there, um, Dragon Slayer Crank, uh, MGP rods, uh, Wisco pistons, PRC heads, uh, some badass push rods, and BTR intake. So it's a slick little setup. You guys can get that identical setup from Kevin Mullins, TCAM Performance. You call him up and say, hey, I want this motor. And he'd be like, all right, no questions asked, him on the phone and build your motor. Um, so what our goal is today is just shake down the black, or sorry, not the black sheet, shake down the Silverback Z06. And I want to turn this thing up and go a little bit quicker. We went at 580. Now, I'm, I'm giving away a five second car. Someone watching this video right now, it could be you at home watching, is going to win this car and take it down track. Uh, it's been 580s at 122, pretty slow in the 60 foot, 138, 60 foot. Um, and I had like a 1.4 second boost ramp in there. So today we're gonna be talking about the Holly boost control because I wanna, if you're gonna win this car, I want you to learn a little bit about it so you know how to do it. Uh, it's on the Terminator X software. Um, and it runs on E85, so it's a very simple setup. Uh, power glide, trans brake, bump box, all that stuff. Everything's running right through the Holly, so it's super nice. But um, I want to turn it up. I want to go after the six foot a little bit. I'm not going to turn it up out the back. 122, I feel like it's pretty stout. I mean, it's a full weight car. It probably weighs like 30. What do you think it weighs? You're a Mustang guy, Timmy. Yeah, about 3,200 pounds. 32? I was going to say 34. I'm Might fat. Be. I'm fat. Uh, With me in it, at least 34. Yeah. So I thought, I think 122 is pretty respectable. Don't you agree? Oh, yeah. 100%. I mean, eighth mile, peel your muffin cap back blue. I mean, it's getting it. Uh, after going 170 in the eighth, 122 doesn't quite feel the same as it used to, but uh, it's it's still there. The ticket, it prints ticket, and it's pretty quick. So our goal today is uh, we're gonna try to hammer that 60 foot, hammer that 330. Uh, this tune-up right here from the last time when we went 138, uh, I went up two pounds on dome pressure, and I feel like we're gonna reach that limit on dome pressure. We're gonna have to start pulling timing to get to build boost on the start line. Uh, but I went up two from 10 to 12. And then I brought the ramp in 0.2 from 1.4 to 1.2. It's all in. And I made it slightly more aggressive. So uh, for those of you guys that are just like, what the hell is he talking about? After we make a pass, I'll show you what that ramp looks like. Uh, and this is pretty much all the tuning stuff that goes on in between rounds, power management and everything like that. Um, it's not as crucial in a car like this to go out and shake it down. Um, but with these big cars, power management is everything. So uh, we're out here going to have fun. We got some GoPros. We got Timmy on the camera because Wes has been replaced. Wes is gone. You just, you, you fired Wes. I fired Wes and I hired Timmy. And I mean, look how steady this camera is. I don't folks. know about all that. No, huh? we will uh, see. Timmy is actually one of the Storm Hub guys. So shout out to Timmy for working Storms. One to 10, how fun are working Storms? Oh, it's Tim. How's the paycheck? One to 10. 10. 10. I'll get a 10 all day on that. 10 all day. All right. So we're going to have some fun. We're going to do some racing. Uh, you guys are going to see Chris behind the wheel. Chris has been MIA. Chris, say what's up. What's up? You've been gone. <laughs> Gone. Pretending like he's working. He doesn't work though. He's retired. So um, we're going to go here, have some fun. We'll suit up, make some passes. We're out here at Thunder Valley Red Springs Dragway. Uh, this is where we used to shake down the boost rooster all the time. So it should be fun. I'm excited. And uh, what do you think? What's your what, what's it going to run? You tell me, Timmy. What's it gonna oh, I think we get 560s. 560s? I'm going for a 50. I want to keep the head gaskets on there, but I want to go for. I'm gonna try to hit it so hard. If you guys see it knocking the tires off in the start line, don't comment. And be like, oh, you don't know what you're trying to do. Like, I'm trying to hit it real hard in the 16, see if it'll stick. I need that data. If it could pull a wheelie, it's got no VPS on it, so it'll go to the bumper. But if it could pull a wheelie, I'd be happy because I want to do this like the giveaway photo with this thing toting the tires. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna tighten up the rear shocks. Um, it's got no travel limiters on it. We can go out there, do a burnout, make a pass, and see what happens. Let's do it. 
time. Get it. Single adjustable. It's like there's not much to do. You just turn it. And it, it, it adjusts the compression and the rebound in the same stroke. So um, this thing likes to separate really hard, so I'm putting a little bit more tire pressure in there to keep the tire round. And then I think uh, I think we're good. It's at like 4,500 RPMs on the lead. I mean, it should be pretty stout, not going to lie. I think we're going to do all right. Here, is it going to knock tires off first pass? Nope. <laughs> ben, what do you think? What? Is it going to knock tires off first pass? I don't think so. I just put a spicy, yeah. spicy tune up in it. All right. First off, I'd like to say I left my head sock in the car. It smells terrible. This is the struggle that you guys generally don't get to see. Put a tune up in the car. No idea if it's too spicy, but we're about to find out. Haven't looked at the track. This is literally the blind. Like, I'm the blind leading the blind. So, we'll see. I feel like... I don't know. I really don't know. I'm up in the air whether it hooks or not. If it hooks, it should go pretty quick. Don't forget to turn the boost controller on. Don't forget to turn the boost controller on, John. Time to hit it harder. One, 
32 60 foot 585 at 120 miles an hour. Hell yeah. What is all this stuff here? Uh, let's go to Boost, because that's all we care about here. Whoa! I chicken footed it! Huh? I chicken footed it! What is that? What is that? I told you I wasn't prepared for it. Look at um, Target Boost and look at actual boost oh what's this purple dome pressure dome pressure and target dome pressure is your target, target boost yeah so they should overlay pretty pretty yeah. pretty good dome pressure yeah i mean this thing was it's just humming along i mean that's what it make on the brake let's see here boost wise i mean 14 pounds on the brake and then uh it came up to like 24 and there's road 24 all the way out what i shift at no shift like shifting by ear 6500 i mean not bad total just chicken foot in the log i mean i went from 99 down to 96. i i came off three three percent throttle that might have been my 129 six foot um how much harder do you think i could hit it not enough. I had 16 in one and 15 in the other. 16 and a half. I'll just go 16 and a half all around. Yes. Yeah, I heard that. I put 16 in both of them. Can I do a, a timing, like an advanced table to pull timing on the brake? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I could put more drone pressure on it. I want it to. Just, so, like, you'd literally go, like, target. Target boost on brake or target dome like ten, like twelve pounds of dome pressure on the brake and then like no ram and then yeah, just like twenty five basically yeah because I, the right, thing so. is that's like a power thing like the more you, like there's, like we don't make enough horsepower to warrant that exactly all the right more you make like when you're making fourteen to sixteen hundred horsepower all right here this is what this is what we're talking about here we'll show you guys at home so um, dome pressure boost versus times so this ramp right here is what we're talking about and if you pull up a data log here here we'll pull that back up go over here to boost there's my little dip in the throttle right here there it is all right so this is trans brake so if you go over here and look we're going boost 14.3 on the trans brake and then when you leave you click the trans brake boost holds there it goes up to 15 see how it comes in gradually like there's the there's the ramp okay so boost is this dark red so let's just take everything else out of here compensation i don't know how good you better see it though i mean it's, they can they're listening i mean our fuel we're compensating three percent i'd say our tune-up is pretty spot on um and let's get rid of rpm well i guess we'll leave rpm right there this curve we're trying to get it and going from here to just like all the boost all the time i think it, the turbo's got such a small backside it might could but um i mean i guess we'll just try it how'd it look look good it looked good that looked good that looked, like is shannon young in trouble after that pass he might he might be all right you heard that that thing was 147 degrees when i came back here and shut it off really yeah this thing is like you could hot lap it that's a street car it is a street car five second street car is that the best ET? Yeah, I mean, it went at 85. It went at 88 before. It went at 85, but that was uh, a much better 60 foot. So, I'm pretty happy with it. I don't know. What like, what else do I do now? Turn it up a notch. I mean, I guess so. I don't want to put any more. It makes 25 pounds out the back. It went 120 miles an hour. Um, as you go quicker in the 60 foot and in the short time, your mile an hour is going to be affected by that. Uh, so, I'm not really too worried about mile an hour. I, just, I mean, I don't care if I go... 550 at 100 miles an hour as long as the et it prints the ticket that says 550 on it, i'm cool with it so um chris are you worried there about that what that 580 no i'm just asking i'm gay
You getting ready, Chris? When's the last time you drove this car? A year. Alright guys, if you guys hear a hellacious rattling sound, it is the torque tube in that car. It's got some like ridiculous billet RPM torque tube and that's what you guys are hearing. So as soon as it comes off idle, it goes away, but it sounds like hell. It sounds like the crank's about to fall out the motor, but it has nothing to do with any of that. It's solely, solely the torque tube. It was like that in the other motor. It's like that in this. I mean, it's just that's just how this car is. We've dealt with other cars that have that torque tube in there and they don't sound like that. I don't know what it is about that, but... That one, that torque tube is just rowdy. So Chris's first shakedown, Silverback Z06 is back. Um, I mean, it's gonna be an awesome adventure with this car to see where it goes. Uh, but right now we're just looking to make sure it goes down A to B. There are some risks with the car. It is definitely making way too much power for some components on it. It's on a factory like upgraded C6 diff. Uh, it's got drive shaft shop 2000 horsepower axles. But uh, I mean, this thing is gonna be a beast. It's got a black sheet motor in it and yeah rowdy. Nice and smooth there. Popped a little wheelie. Did it? It, it looked pretty boring like from, little, little from the start line, which is nice, you know? Yeah, nice little, simple little wastegate deal. Yeah, and it's not making much boost on a wastegate. It's got twin um, wastegates on there. with some pretty soft springs, so. Yeah, you can tell that converter definitely had a hold of that motor. Yeah, that converter set up for some big power. So we'll get back, we'll check it out, we'll see how it goes. How, yeah, that thing just didn't sound fast at all. Like, it sounded like- It smoked that one already. And I was on half track let out. What'd it go? Your titty. Golly, look at the mile an hour. <laughs> that, you know what, Chris? Go home with that disrespect. Wastegate and God. let out at 3.30. What, wait, what? It... God, you out 60 footed me, you bastard. Look at that. Yeah, no, it, it didn't sound fast because you could tell it was so turned down. Like. It literally well, sounded when it, like when I felt the front end get light. I let out. You look at TPS. I was like, "Whoa, that don't feel right." It, 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 I, I thought something little... was wrong with the steering. You know what, Chris? And right here, showing showing times. This is, guys, soak it in. This is about the few times that we show times in this car. Five seventy out the box. Out the box. It definitely hiked them up like that high and immediately set it down. I felt the front end. I was like, "What is that?" It like it literally. It sounded like you weren't trying to go down. Like it sounded like. An aborted run where you just idled well, it down. As soon as it started coming into power, you shifted. I shifted and let it eat, and then it started pulling again. And when it started coming power, just I mean, dude, that that right there, you're you're already in the top ten percent of Corvettes out there in the country. Top top to every One Corvette guy's like, no, I go I go a five fifty. Four point eight pounds. Is that how much it makes? It's what dude, it makes on it doesn't yeah. sound like a turbo car when you roll up there. You're like, oh, Z06 got some nitrous on that. Yeah. You got a Z06 motor. Hey, congrats. First Thank pass uh, year long, like a year later. Yeah. Was it worth the wait? Oh, yeah. Now we'll see what it'll really do. I know.
Turbo come to life? Yep. Where's Chris? You I'm about to cut it off on you. You don't want us, but I'll hold it past 3.30 this time. <laughs> that turbo started like, so like the noise it makes at mid-track, it was doing it right there. <laughs> I bet it made 22 pounds. I could just hear it. That felt, that, I what hear it. pressure did you have on the dome? 30. Yeah, it made 25 pounds. Hell yeah, that's what we're talking about. You're going to break <laughs> I was, at first I thought I pulled the wrong shit out. No, uh, I said I wanted to see how much it'd make. So 25. It made a lot. So I should probably back it down to like 20. One glory pass. Leave it like that. Just go. No. It made 25. I run 25 out the back. You don't want to spin. No, but I mean, if I do spin, I'm like, oh, well, we tried. Yeah. Talk about having nothing on the table right now. Did you have right 15 now. on it? I, I had 12 on it before. It made 14. The black car, given that it's totally different suspension and everything, yeah. anything above 18, we we're sort of fighting in the dark at that point. Yeah, we're well, like, no, well, I hope it hooks. The only thing I hate about this is like, even with 14 on the dome, I think the converter is just like set up for that quarter mile long gear bullshit that it just like, it just lugs the, like you need to punch this converter in the nuts and then just to have it screaming to fight through the converter. But yeah. um, I'm just going to take an estimated guess in the dark. And throw something in yeah, there. Just I'm not touching the overall dome. Yeah, just, just throw something at it. Yeah, all right. And if it just does, like if throw it, it, it throw it on yeah. the wall and see if it sticks. Yeah. Next, I'm gonna do that yeah. to this. I'm gonna put 25 on the dome on launch. Oh. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I had no CO2. That's proof I didn't have no boost. I'm leaving here today with the fastest time slip between the two of us. Bet. If, if no, I'm not. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> hey, well, congratulations, sir. Mm -hmm. And good job, Ben. Timmy, great job filming. And John, <laughs> I'm gonna run the fastest time today. Thank you. It's only a challenge. I gave you my time. Five sixty coming up. Order up. Say no more, folks at home. You guys might be getting a roller. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're on teams here. It's like me and Timmy versus you two. Timmy, I think I got proven right here. That was a fluke. That was beginner's luck. I think there was a timing system Do you error. not understand that I... The, you just saw the video. You showed me the video on Snapchat. I was out of it. Timing system error. I no. think I think there was something wrong with it. Something like a leaf or something. Trip the beans. That was like a 680 pass all day. You know what? I'm about to line up with you in the same lane and just rear end you halfway down track. I'll tell you right now. The track is kind of tight. The track, dude. We come out here to Red Springs Thunder Valley and the track literally never disappoints. It's always a good race. And I was concerned that last time I was out here was in Bad Apple. Well, I ran the Bad Apple out here last. Uh, but the last time I ran out here was Bad Apple, yeah. and I didn't like shutdown. Yeah, the shutdown's like this. Uh, rough. If you hit the brakes too hard, it starts to... Yeah. Yeah. I go through the traps at like 104, so I'm not worried about it. Off boost. Yeah. Like it blew a boot or something.
That was the one. It's not showing anything too erratic right there, but turn the ignition on. Did you hear it? Yeah, well, I heard it. All right. I'm just trying to see. Um, Maybe it's a this. Oh. right now. We are zesty. I don't know what it's smoking. My best bet would say a transmission cooler line. Because it probably got super hot after two times spooling it up three times. It got smoky. We gotta go and get my time slip, but definitely left the best it ever has. I think this converter just needs some love. He's standing like he's done something big. Look at him. <laughs> okay. A little bit, but nothing crazy. Transmission's tough. That converter's mad. Yeah, I guess it was anticipating it making a lot of boost. I look at the boost safety, anything over a certain, it was like foot ignition. Was that what it was doing? Yeah, I told it to not do that. And it, I need to go, we need to go get my boost. It some, was smoking on the big end when I turned around, so I just came flying yeah, back yeah. down here. I wasn't too worried about finding it, but somewhere in there it's pulling ignition timing too. Be so because of? 20 pounds on the gate on target leave, yeah. plus pulling ignition timing, it was, trying to aim for the moon and it was like computers like oh no yeah because it was just like cutting out. i mean it was fine down track yeah you like stumbled just a hair off the start I'll, line like uh, things i was looking at like i was looking at like your fuel pressure i know we did uh, we did put a boost safety in it yeah and that's what it was <laughs> That time. Oh yeah, the transmission overflow puked out. There's some water or something. something like either the top of the fuel tank has got like a port that's just not plugged because when you leave, it just pukes. It's just out. like like a mist of alcohol coming out of the bag. Timmy, what do you think? Look like you lit, dude. This like you literally go 170 in the eighth. This thing right here, I can make a sandwich going 120 on the bag. First time it ever kind of tried to pull the wheel. <laughs> um, literally, I think I think old girl did good here. Um, what are you thinking? Did, did you get a log on that? Yeah, yeah. It should you should be able to hit cancel right there, and then hit, I don't know. Ben, the, what yeah. do you think? What? I think it probably went a five. What did it go the first pass? Five eighty. Eight five eighty five. 
I think I think it went uh, 70 something. 73? 73? I mean, that's stout. I mean, the, the, that ramp, like, doing that makes all the difference in the world. Oh, yeah, there's definite, like, spike in boost, and then it cuts it, and then it comes back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boost is pissed. Target boost made 22, like, on the chip, and then coming off it, and, it's, and, and then it cut. It hit the little boost cut, and the boost fell, and then it came back up. Yeah, I mean, we made 23 out the back. I mean, it rode out like normal. I, I think it probably went a 580 again. Come on, you gotta be hopeful, man. Come on, 5.7. You go 580 again? 5,000's off. What do you uh, go? I went 578. 578, damn. No. But it went 129.60 foot. Did it go 126 foot? Yeah, but it That's went 370 good. to. Oh, yeah. It's a hot rod, anyway. Yeah. You alright? Yeah. Head to the house. You yeah. are? I thought you were going for the fastest 18 today. Is that not? Oh my god. I'm, I didn't get it. Isn't that I? what he said? What he said. Uh, with the way my chicken foot's set up, I don't know if I can get it. I can get you a phone book for the seat, don't worry. I'm, I'm about to set the bar for you. I'm going to get a 330 hit on this one and can't throw a neutral and shut it off on him. No, you can get throw a neutral. The air shifter's going to put a neutral with your street car. Man's over here with air shifter. You can show me you what an air shifter is. It's not air shifter in there. When I grow up, I want to be just like you. Where's the air shifter at? On the shifter. I don't see. Don't anything. make me point it out on camera. I don't see anything. Hang on. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. No air shifter. It's just a myth. All right. So Chris is suiting up. Going to make uh, one last shakedown. Your first shakedown, you up went like a couple, a couple hundred feet. Went like three, four hundred feet. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to ride on waist gate all the way. Up. What, what Ben? Waist gate like four or five pounds? Yeah, I think it makes just under five pounds like 4.8 pounds yeah so nothing crazy how's it feel in there does it feel good to be back back in the yeah, all silver back all right well look at you uh rocking all of your proper safety equipment very nice I, i'm only rocking a lap belt though. But, oh yeah sorry <laughs> sorry all your proper do the whole free track feel on this thing like yeah the safety yeah like that way we can come out here and feel good about sending it like yeah so this is just a shakedown just to make sure mechanically it works and, and everything seems to be doing great uh so have fun on your next shakedown and what's it going to run I'm gonna say 557. Chris? Huh? What's it gonna run? Five. Depends on five five forty. I think it, I think it's gonna dip into thirties. I think on so, wastegate it's gonna go as fast as it used to go, turned all the way up. Timmy, what do you say? You gonna do a full pass? Five thirties. Five thirties. Alright. Have fun. <laughs> That thing is pretty rowdy for wastegate. That's four pounds. Four pounds of boost. That's about NA. From where I was standing, it looked impressive. Yeah. I keep forgetting it's got a 342 gear in it. Yeah, it's got a very, very long gear. It liked, I think it liked that more RPM on the line, though. It definitely did. Did you Yeah, well, I was pretty far back, but I knew it wheelied. Good pass, 560. Mm -hmm. It's not set up for minimal horsepower. Converter's tight, you hear pull down. But pull it down. you were moving good. You were yeah. moving good through the middle. Yeah. Hey, congrats on getting the car back. You got your 60 foot. You're, you're a bad man, dude. You are a bad Sorry. man. All right, Timmy, I got some work to do. What do I gotta go, a 65? We gotta go to 65. I gotta go 65, all right. All right, we're gonna send it here. Five, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see if I can get it. All right, now's my chance. Huh. Go get it. Now's my chance. Your only chance. I, I think I'm gonna leave on more. No, I'm just gonna try and get a clean run. I'm not gonna try to leave on more. I'm just gonna get a Look, clean you run. You should be glad I got a lap built. Uh, you're right. You're right. What did I just go? You went like a 68. Oh, you, yeah. 
We're done. Dead man walking. If this doesn't do any safety features. You're, you're lucky I'm giving this thing away or else I would turn it up. Well, then I'd drive back to the house and go get some sheet metal screws and fix my lap belt. Yeah, the, the, the plate. All right. It's going down. Honestly, I don't think I got what it takes, but I'm just talking enough smack to make them feel concerned. <clears throat> I need a new impact head sock. If anyone's got a brand new one in the bag they want to get rid of, just send it to me. Because I left this one in the car and it smells bad. It smells terrible. It smells gross. Five, the air's getting better. Oh yeah, track temp's going down. Look at, look, at look at him. Look at him. I hadn't loaded it up yet. Uh, I don't care now. If you go faster, we're gonna take the uh, the Mac valve. <laughs> I am really surprised at how much that converter loves it down. This one's the same way, you know. Holy smokes! This one, this converter is built for 2,000 horsepower. What that one? Yeah. Yeah. There. You doing that on your uh, Mustang Dyna? <laughs> hey, did you run your trans cooler? Huh? You run your trans cooler? Yeah, it runs all the time. It's hooked up. All right. Okay. Attention to my last pass of this car ever. Set it high enough. So <laughs> Wrinkled up. <laughs> what is that? Oil. Grand Mexico. Okay. Like, um, and then it says, ah, oh, let's go. Yeah. What a heartbreaker. I can see I can see your visor. Your head turned back so far back I can see your visor. I had your number. You were done. Dead man walking. What's your mile an hour? Mile an hour doesn't mean ET is all that matters. I knew what an ET if it wasn't for, you know what? And that boost cuts for the people at home that are buying t-shirts so they don't get a roller. That, that's cool. That's what it's for, all right? Where's your town slip? Chief. It's, you don't need to see it. Where's the time slip, Chief? It's not a PB, so I'm not showing. Where you, where you loading it up? 
Yeah, I'm ready. To I had to let up. you know. It was like me in uh, Virginia. Come back around, and you're like, we got to put the smart car in. Yeah. Shut it down. What a what a true heartbreaker. Oh, uh, you don't uh, quarter the transmission fluid up there. Yeah, I think the I think the converter is probably a little warm. Yeah, it's probably hot. No fan on it. Just getting punched in the neck like twelve times in a row. I spooled it up here and it made twenty five pounds, and after that, it just Holly was like, you know what? We know what you're trying to do here. I'm telling you, it's in there. Uh, yeah, Look at I had this. To, I had to clean the whole track. Oh, huh. Look at this. It's just a little bit of a uh, little smoke coming out. It didn't. It didn't. I didn't make a mess. Yeah, you drove the tram for all the No, way. I did not. Can you, you smell it? Smells like burnt oil. It's like up now. No, it's, it's our dirty breather. It's, 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 uh, you got to be a man to wear this car. But no, I mean, any day you get to load the cars back up in the trailer under their own power. Uh, no parts failures, nothing broken, nothing needs to be fixed. Uh, it's a good day. Like I said before, multiple times, we're giving this car away, so someone's going to win this exact car, and I think it's gonna be an awesome car, because you can do what we do out here. We were here for, what, two hours, made three passes, and I spooled up, so essentially could've made four passes, and, uh, and yeah, so it's that simple. Go to ellisnatch.com, get entered, and get your merch. All right, not a <laughs> All right, we're gonna load this stuff up and uh, and head back to the house. Good day of testing here, a couple hours, make a couple laps. And um, that's gonna wrap it up on today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We got more Silverback Z06 footage coming your way here soon. Uh, and I think we're gonna go racing this weekend, this Saturday down at Orangeburg, uh, Carolina Motorplex. They got 20 inch tire shootout. So I think that's the plan. Um, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Like always, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's upload.